Thank you. Very comfortable speaking off the cuff, but I prepared some comments because I didn't want to miss anything. Um, 60 years ago, a young man sat uh, in a room by himself, staring at his feet, contemplating the challenge ahead. Shielding his eyes from the overbright fluorescent lights, uh, he slipped out of his clothes, his feet dancing on the cold linoleum floor, and uh, donned the uncomfortable garments that he'd been given. And finished, he made his way into the main room where uh, a group of people, some familiar, some new faces, stood waiting nervously. They helped him put on additional equipment, some of it custom made, but still uncomfortable, and plugged in wires and oxygen hoses, and then walked him over to climb into a dark, cramped space um, surrounded by previously foreign, but now familiar equipment. They closed the door and he was by himself. American astronaut, Alan Shepard, sitting in his Mercury capsule named Freedom 7 on top of a Redstone rocket as he waited to become the first American to fly in space. When he launched on May 5th, 1961, he was by himself, but he was not alone. He sat in that capsule and he flew that mission connected to his team by a scratchy voice on the radio, um, emanating from experts in mission control, blanketed by the well wishes of friends and family, and lifted up by the hopes, dreams, and hard work invested by a team of thousands. We often say that spaceflight is the ultimate team sport. It takes a cast of thousands to reach beyond our grasp, to make the impossible possible, to make science fiction science fact. I've had the privilege of working in both spaceflight and in medicine, and I can say with a certainty that the practice of medicine, the provision of healthcare, is the ultimate team sport. It takes a great team aligned to a bold and noble goal to achieve amazing things. And the goal and team represented here today, um, the, the, the goal and team are represented here today and it is a privilege to be a part of it. We're grateful uh, for the Biden administration's cancer moonshot vision, unifying efforts across government, industry, and academia to fight cancer in each life and family affected by it. And to reduce the burden of cancer across our country and the world. Thank you to the, the Space Communication Navigation Program for supporting this effort and um, the NASA Public Affairs Outreach and Space Medicine teams for their leadership and support. And a huge thank you to Fred Hutch Cancer Center for partnering with us in this effort or allowing us to partner with you in this effort for the care um, that you provide to, to your patients and their families. We could not ask for a more phenomenal team of specialists, engineers, scientists, and staff to partner with. But most of all, thank you to the patients and their families for letting us walk with you in this challenging journey. I am personally grateful for the invitation to participate, to share my experiences and insights, and to have the opportunity to encourage the boys and girls, young men and women, embarking with their families on very personal missions against cancer. Each one of you is an inspiration to me and to those of us gathered here um, as you set your goals and launch your missions with determination and courage. I know your teams will take exceptional care of you, and I hope um, our mission briefings are an encouragement on your path to healing. Thank you. <laughs>